As our city expands northward, US 395 is becoming a hot spot for car crashes, especially involving animals too. That's right. NDOT has hired a research company to put up trail cameras all over the area to study wildlife movement and see if we can make any improvements to the road. Faith Justice has been learning more about this study. She joins us live along US 395. Faith, will drivers see any changes soon? You know, not necessarily, Kristen. What the state is doing right now is just studying the area to try to identify where these hot spots for these crashes are and what we'll see might be changes more so down the line and solutions that we could build toward in the future. The cub. Northern Nevada is covered in seasonal migratory routes, and the animals that use those pathways have been walking the same trails for generations. But here's the problem. Our highways cut across lots of those passages. Nevada started putting in wildlife crossings back in 2010, um, and we've since added more than 20 across the state, including overpasses and underpasses. Now, NDOT is looking at US 395 to see if it needs any animal right-of-ways. Pathways for Wildlife has put up trail cameras around the highway to identify hot spots for crashes, and those findings will tell us whether the area is ripe for road improvements. Do we need a, a big culvert or do we need an overpass? Um, you know, where is the right location? Because they, they cost millions of dollars. None of these animal pathways come cheap. But NDOT says the state has carved out $5 million to try to reduce our animal vehicle crashes. And matching federal grants could help that money go even further. We're hoping that we can leverage that $5 million to potentially turn it into upwards of $100 million. And while it still may sound like a steep price tag to save a few animals and drivers, NDOT says Nevadans are already wasting a lot of money on damage control. $20 million um, every year is spent on um, re responding to these types of collisions, uh, repair, loss of life, um, human injury. And along with protecting drivers, NDOT says we've got to protect the wildlife because home means Nevada for them, just as it does for us. Pathways for Wildlife says that this study with these trail cameras along the 395 will be complete just about a year and a half from now. So we'll have to wait at least that long to see if there are any changes coming to the 395 and, and what those might be. Covering the story live, Faith Justice, 2 News.